Seeing the first sunrise in North America is a real treat for a lot of people. If you look out over the water, there's nothing but horizons. It's just so beautiful, so scenic. I highly recommend it. My name is Paula Morgan, and I'm the Interpretation Officer Coordinator at Cape Spear. Cape Spear is located at the most easterly point in North America, and if you look out over the ocean, and if your view plane could continue, you'd actually see Ireland and other parts of Europe. Visitors specifically come here because it's the most easterly point. Definitely coming to the edge of the world is a bucket list item for them and they're pretty much gushing by the time they leave. There's a beautiful part of the East Coast Trail that actually comes right through Cape Spear National Historic Site. And if you just walk up behind the historic lighthouse, you can catch the trail right from there. It's just spectacular. The East Coast Trail basically is a coastal hiking trail. It's 540 kilometers long. And really the, the lighthouse uh, in Cape Spear is the centerpiece or the destination, the major destination of this piece of trail. My name is Randy Murphy, and I'm the president of the East Coast Trail Association. I guess it, w one of the reasons to visit Cape Spear is to come for the experience. The impact it has on how you feel as an individual. Most of us live in a busy city, a noisy city. Cape Spear allows you to escape, to step out of your life. Simply to just uh, sit back, relax, and let uh, nature just wash over you. The Cape Spear Lighthouse was constructed between 1835 and 1836, and currently now it's restored to its 1839 original appearance. With a guided tour, visitors can really learn about the history of Lightkeeper and his family and what it took to keep the whole lighthouse running effectively. Uh, you can do a full site tour, so you can walk around the entire site, get to see the most easterly point, the World War II gun batteries as well, are a really neat feature of the site. In the spring and the summer months, besides the Cape Spear destination itself, a major attraction uh, out here is basically is the whale activity. The, the humpback whales especially, the minke, the potheads. You can sit out here and just lay back and let the, the sun and the wind wash over you and just be entertained by the, the whale activity that's just sitting off the coast. Another major attraction at, at Cape Spear is the, the numbers of icebergs passing by. They flow down from Greenland and come in and then flow along the coast and they're dramatic. It's hard to say what makes Cape Spear so special. I think it's just a feeling more than anything. When people show up here, they're instantly happy just because they're here. It's just the fresh air, the beautiful scenery, the history that you can just feel everywhere. Once you've been here, it, it just gets in your soul.